welcome to the Just Chopping podcast. I'll with just myself. press, I'll just press the, oh, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> I pressed play already. <laughs> I'll just press the leave meeting button. <laughs> sorry. The sorry. Take, take of it. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to the Just Chopping podcast with my cousin David. And today we are with the lovely Natasha Devine. She is a DJ and singer-songwriter. And she was born in the Netherlands, I believe. Is that yeah, correct? That's correct. <laughs> Where are you from then, uh, Natasha? I'm from uh, a town, uh, Gouda. Gouda. With the cheese. Oh, yeah, 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 I know it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's like um, the bigger baby bell. Yes, yeah. I, I don't know if they have baby, but yeah, they are like, yeah, exactly, yeah, the big, big baby bell. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where's that? Is it north, south? It's uh, like uh, in in the middle, um, okay. sort of near the Hague, near Utrecht, like near like that's all around it, Rotterdam. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. Do you want to kick it off, Dave? Or no, you can kick it off. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so, um, I don't know where to begin now. So you're a Dutch DJ, singer songwriter, and you studied international music management. Is yeah, that right? Like, yeah. And you did that in Harlem? Yeah. Okay. So I, I traveled uh, every day at about two and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> on the bus? <laughs> My youth, yeah, on the train. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, I'm glad you did cycle. Because I stayed living in, in Gouda, obviously, yeah, because of, 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 of the cheese. <laughs> oh, when, when you said Harlem, I Harlem, thought you meant yeah. Harlem Globetrotters. In the States? Oh, no. But there's a Harlem in Holland, is there? That's, yeah. Ah, okay. All right. So Terry was Terry was talking to me about it earlier on, and I I, I thought there was Harlem in the states, so I thought you'd been to the US for a bit as well. Probably is like a little uh, little brother. Harlem <laughs> <laughs> brother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what got you into music then? Um. Oh. Well, um, that's all. <laughs> I don't really know what got me into music. It's kind of I I was in, in well, well um if um. Uh, it's, it's always a, I always find this a really hard question <laughs> when it's probably just really easy. Well, um, I kind of just when I was a, a kid, I always like you know singing, making music, and it's kind of I didn't really know. It's like when you when you have you don't really know what to what to do what to do else. Of course, I've, I had like other ideas <laughs> what to do, but I kind of just ended up doing music. Um, and I started um when I was uh, sixteen, I started playing in in, in uh, bands. And uh, I ended up in uh, uh, quite a, a really a good band, uh, which is like the top level of musicians of the Netherlands, which are uh, uh, run by my cousin. Um, so I had like a um, uh, like pianist that worked with uh, Chesto, and the DJ Chesto, and like uh, but, like a big famous artist in in the Netherlands. Yeah. And um, from then, kind of like that's how I uh, build up my say uh, stage performances and. Uh, you know, singing with the band on like in pubs, <laughs> like you have to you know, learn the sound, and it's like really rough. And um, but it was a uh, lot of fun. And then I started to um, uh, study uh, music management, mm -hmm. which then uh, brought me to to England <laughs> in my second year. Okay, or oh, in your second year? Yeah. Oh, okay. So how long was the course? Um, well, it's a total. Um, so it's like Dutch university is four years. But um, I kind of in the second year I had to do um, a, a work placement. Okay. And um, I um, I met my manager, well, Bruce, <laughs> Bruce, on uh, at ADE Amsterdam Dance Event, um, a big uh, huge dance conference in uh, in Amsterdam. Yeah. And uh, I was working there for three days for my uh, to uh, like earn earn credits for my uh, university <laughs> points. And um, um, well, I said, well, do you have a, a work? workplace I met a lot of people it kind of says like so it sounds really quickly but I uh, spent like ages like days were looking for him uh, we had like uh, we got access to a, a database where we could see all the companies that that would be present all the delegates and um so when I finally got to meet uh, uh, Bruce I asked him you know I'm, I need a work placement do you have a work placement and he was like what's the work placement <laughs> 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 and I said, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'll, I'll explain on the way. <laughs> so I kind of made sure I got because I really wanted to um, uh, go abroad. That was my my main big thing that I really wanted to get out of that um, 
uh, work placement experience. I wanted to go abroad, and I thought London was a good place because it's the hub, no, the hub of uh, music as well. And um, um, it was still near uh, near the Netherlands, so something like a boat trip away. Yeah, yeah, or <laughs> and a I, flight. I, and I, I took the boat quite a lot. <laughs> oh right, okay. <laughs> um, and yeah, so well, that's how how it kind of uh, happened. So I I came here just to. Uh, to do first to do like bookings and like the you know, the management side around it so uh, and and then one day I, I went to the studio and he's like oh yeah the singer dropped out you know the singer they, they were about to record something <laughs> and then he said oh can you sing and I was like oh well yeah <laughs> and <laughs> I, uh, before that I had already started singing if I sang my band and you no know, I had all this so I was like oh yeah I can so um the 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 next day he said oh so I sang um um, a track uh, in the studio it was called Someone Like Me, um, featuring what we called an Indian princess, which was, was me, uh, uh, with Soul Cast, a, a track from Soul Cast. And um, it went like, a, it became a huge uh, club uh, hit okay. after that. Like, so it was like, when um, MTV, it was A-listed on Kiss. Um, and I was like, oh, no, I only came here for a work placement. And now I'm like, I'm just hearing myself on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. so you're and still I, pretty young then yeah and I did a club tour and it was like no I didn't really I couldn't really comprehend it but it was like it was quite massive um, and then after that I, well, I, I went back to the Netherlands after this, as it was only like a six months uh, sort of work experience but I thought I had done more most than any <laughs> in my uh, of course in my, my uni my classmates um, it, uh, they sort of exploded so I went back and I um, sort of to, to try and finish the the course and then uh, at some point I ended back up here and I kind of I don't really I don't really actually recall moving back to the Netherlands since I got here I officially lived here since um say 2012 but I kind of like went back and forth back and forth I sort of think uh, well, okay. yeah. <laughs> what do you live with Bruce or no no I, well, but he's, he's my manager now still so we're still um from that um uh, from that time, he's still now my, my, which is the funny thing. So I went to the work placement and now he, he he's my manager. <laughs> yeah. So did you start, I, didn't you start a management company together? No, 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 no. Oh, right. Okay. He, no. ju he just manages you. And now, yeah. So when I moved back to, um, um, say when I moved here officially, I set up my recording studio in Brixton and yeah. then, uh, and the record label, which we do together. Okay. And, um, then another studio and now I'm a, a, a sort of a new a Dulwich so and I'm quite happy here <laughs> <laughs> I've got a recording studio in Brixton and a, a TV studio just uh, on the opposite of the of the street <laughs> a TV <laughs> studio yeah well, that's where I record all the uh, the goddess is a DJ uh, show <laughs> oh okay. right okay is or have you got like a warehouse or um, well, we've got, um, it's like a, a workspace, so we've got this big studio and we build it just like lights and you know, the, well, you oh, see, okay. watch the, the show, we build it all into a, into a, a proper club, really. <laughs> <laughs> Lockdown, where there's no one in it. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool, though. Yeah, so it's like purpose-built. So? So it's purpose-built. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, my sound hasn't gone off again, has it? Nope. <laughs> no. Oh, that's okay then. I thought it was... <laughs> I've got... Oh, I don't know. I've just been having some issues. All right, cool. So you had some... You said you had some success with Moonbeam? Oh, um, yeah. So um, uh, well, that also happened during when I was still doing the work placement. Yeah, thing. yeah. <laughs> I did have that uh, someone like me uh, that was so cast. And then I also featured on a track of Moonbeam, which was um, Russia's biggest DJs. Um, and um, yeah, that did also really well. So um, I kind of, when, when I moved back to the Netherlands, I like, I already had lots of stuff done. And then, but it was, um, so I was always like as a featured artist, but when I then officially moved back, I really wanted to work as a solo artist. And then, so I um, I came back with an album, I wrote my songs and um, I kind of started working on, on that. And uh, which, of now uh, my, my solo career say is going quite well and I just had a, my a latest release was Le is Lair um, mm -hmm. it's, uh, well, um, it's uh, just come out and it's, it was um, number one on the Beatport releases <laughs> oh, good. 
with a with a really great uh, remix of uh, the futuristic polar bears. Okay, I don't so, know what that is, but no, they are they are also uh, English English uh, producers, DJ producers. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. So did you meet them, Moonbeam guys, or did they just like pick up a track? Um, the Moonbeam, I didn't meet them. Um, uh, they just they asked me to feature on uh, on on their track because they're in Russia, so I, yeah. <laughs> I haven't been through Russia. Yet. Oh right, I was wondering. I thought, how, how, yeah, how did you meet them? <laughs> no, I didn't meet them. No, it was um, via my my management, and uh, um, I think it was uh, it was another it was something else. Is that Bruce again? <laughs> yeah, Alright, cool. Yeah, so you had, like you said, you had some, and you've had some iTunes, some MTV chart success and stuff. Yeah, that's just my latest um, three uh, releases were were playlists on MTV, and that all happened in the last year, really. Yeah, so, cool. Yeah. That's quick. Yeah. yeah, that's not counting the the someone like me one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That happened like <laughs> yeah. thirty years so ago. I have yeah, I have my first since uh, since lockdown. I am uh, have my first um, MTV. It was on uh, uh, Change the World was playlist on MTV, um, and then after that was in my head and um, Rainmaker. Oh yeah, that was uh, a Rainmaker. And it's now still on um, uh, Trace It. I don't know if you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Traces, yeah. So it's it's that's Rainmaker is still uh, one of my latest uh, videos is still on. Yeah, I've seen it. I watched yeah. it earlier. Where did you film that? Um, that was um. It kind of sounds actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It didn't look too exotic. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. Just went up there uh, on a very hot day and uh, found a place that looked like a desert, <laughs> like in between all the hills and all. So, and um, got the drone out and uh, just yeah, I kind of did a little uh, rain dance and yeah, uh, yeah. It started uh, raining <laughs> afterwards. Started <laughs> raining. <laughs> Most of, I think it was the only dry desert with sand. <laughs> Not with sand, with grass, I mean. <laughs> you know, I can't think straight man. I'm going to yeah. the shop. Yeah. All right, cool. So, I mean, I read on the internet then that you've got, like, that you're, you're mixed race, yeah? Your dad yeah. is Dutch and your mother's Indian? Yes. So, I mean, the Netherlands really is like, um, how would you say it? Um, uh, oh, what, what did I say it was? Multicultural. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like a hot belt, a hotbed of multiculturalism, isn't it? You know, if you go to Amsterdam, you'll see more cultures in Amsterdam than anywhere in the world. I think. Yeah, I think. Um, I will. I think London is comes close. There's because I also feel very at home in London. Uh, with no. Um, but um, it's so my mother uh, was so originally in so I said my great grandparents they came from India but my mother was born in in Suriname in South America which used to be a Dutch colony yeah. and uh, actually just because you just mentioned Harlem <laughs> just in the beginning <laughs> it was I think it was a treaty of Breda that we swapped it so um so it got um I think the story is uh, you, uh, the English swapped um, Suriname yeah for uh, the uh, that upper side of uh, of New York and Manhattan with the, the Netherlands. So the Suriname is actually a, a significant country in <laughs> in English history, but there's not many people that know about it. So it's okay if you say no, I don't I don't know where Suriname is. <laughs> oh, right, okay. I, I didn't know no, that either. It's in yeah, it's in the top of South America, just above Brazil. Yeah. Uh, I think it's called the Treaty, treaty of uh, Breda, where they sort uh, sort of a sort of a swapping thing. Um, uh, went along. Um, so uh, yes, so my mother uh, was born and then it uh, became a Dutch colony for a while. It's not anymore. Um, so uh, lots of Indian people that actually were born in Suriname, they they live in the Netherlands. And yes, this yeah. is actually also a very uh, multicultural country because not, well, not many people know about it, but it does host a lot of uh, cultures like uh, the, like from Jaffa, Jaffa from Indonesia, and they've also got you know, Portuguese and they've got Brazilian, got the whole um, Chinese. It's very multicultural. Okay. Um, the country. So I've kind of just kind of, I grew up with it. And when I grew up, I, um, I learned a lot about, say, uh, different music styles and, um, um, kind of like it's sort of now got it in my blog, so mm. that's why I'm um, 
gonna have got affinity with the multicultural. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. So how, long did, how long did you live in Suriname for before you moved to Holland? Um, I didn't live in, in Suriname. I was born in the Netherlands. So my mother. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. No, my, my mother came uh, to the Netherlands in her 20s or something. Ah, so. uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I and then that, that's when she met your, your dad then, when she moved to Holland. So. Yeah, the funny story, yeah. it's actually my dad now lives in Suriname. So. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Who is your mum? No, <laughs> my mum still lives in Gouda. <laughs> <laughs> so he ran off with another Surinamese woman, did he? <laughs> Kind of like he kind of as he went there, also he he then he fell in love with the country, and then he was sort of a got a place and the and house. He's uh, having a nice uh, uh, all day on his balcony, yeah, <laughs> enjoying a nice <laughs> pension pension. So. Yeah, his pension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is your mum and dad divorced then? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, right. Okay, I was going to say there's a long wait to <laughs> no. travel to see each other. I guess every weekend. <laughs> no. Perfect relationship, that is. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, we interviewed the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we interviewed um, Susie Quattro. Oh, yeah. And um, she said uh, her husband still lives in the US. Oh, he lives in Germany. Germany, sorry, yeah. And she lives in, in the UK. And then because of um, COVID and lockdown, she hadn't seen him for like six months. Oh, no, 14 cool. months. <laughs> was it, it wasn't as long as that, was it? Yeah, it was, yeah. Oh, okay. And then, it's, and then they just travel back and forth then to see each other. So they got their own houses, yeah. separate countries, but they're still married, you know, very yeah. much in love and, and, and travel back and forth to see each other. Oh, yeah, well, if that works, why not, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Well, you're the, because you're the, I read on your website or, or something, you're the ambassador for multiculturalism, is it? Yeah, I, I, I was given that quote. <laughs> Oh, you were given it? Okay, so you're not officially an ambassador. I was giving it by um, uh, the um, uh, Mauritius Times, actually. Okay. A, another multicultural country. <laughs> 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 they actually are. Um, so, yeah, um, um, a journalist from the Mauritius Times, they interviewed me and uh, um, had that, you know, said that, they said that about me. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> so we need to find you an official title from somewhere then <laughs> no. As a, for an ambassador for multi could you, you still do you dress like that all the time uh yeah this is my normal <laughs> yeah i mean no i'm not knocking you i'm just saying i'm just asking you if that's like you know the way you yeah no with. i haven't just no yeah this is like, <laughs> i can't I'm, I'm very like well, uh, it's just really how i am all the pictures that you see me if you look you know, yeah yeah social media is because <laughs> I see you've got like a couple of Terry, Terry's actually dressed up to come on today, right? Like this. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I, I just brushed my beard and my hair. Brushed his beard and brushed his hair. He's, <laughs> he's dressed up today. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I've just seen on the on um, I think it was on Bruce's website. I think that you've got like a couple of different monikers, where you go under Goddess is a DJ, Natasha Divine. And the the Indian, what was it? The Indian yeah, something. Yeah, Indian, Indian princess. Oh yeah, 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 that was it. Yeah. Yes, that was um, uh, more like a club that I had that uh, since my during my studies it was an Indian princess <laughs> with so close. But yeah, so Goddess is a DJ. Um, is um actually the name of my uh, radio show that I started uh, during lockdown. Mm -hmm. Um, and um. Uh, that and uh, it's the name uh, that 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 makes that grew grew out into a uh, uh, massive show from my studio, <clears throat> and um, I was then featured in <laughs> in DJ Mac just a, um, a little while ago, a few months ago. Okay. So that is the kind of thing that went really quickly that I hadn't built onto my uh, um, say my vision of my career. I didn't know I was going to be this DJ thing was going to be that big. It's, it's only happened since last year. So oh, okay. kind of, he, lo he locked me up for a year and kind of you get to see <laughs> what happens. <laughs> I started, I couldn't, because I couldn't perform with my band uh, as I usually did. And uh, so, and I, yeah, I got bored. So I kind of, I, I, I um, dusted off some old uh, Pioneer uh, um, CD, uh, CDJs. And I thought, oh, I, I, I'll just make a mix just for fun. Because <laughs> 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 I have like, uh, you've got this uh, a CD uh, compilation and of uh, that goes to all these and my, uh, two of my songs were, were on it. And I thought, oh, I've got this, no, these CDs, I'm gonna 
um, I can make a, I can make a mix. I kind of just started just like that. And I uploaded it on SoundCloud and I, all my fans were going, oh, oh this is great. <laughs> no. uh, <laughs> and uh, so I was like, okay, for now I'll, I'll make another one then. And, and then so just went. So it, on, it went and then people started to do live streams, um, DJ live streams. And on Facebook, it went, exploded the, the DJ live stream. And I thought, okay, I'll, I'll give it a go. <laughs> yeah. And I started the live stream is from my, uh, I call it my boudoir. Uh, which is my room in my house <laughs> and just kind of it just grew from that to uh, I moved it to the whole sh to show to my studio um, I then uh, got my own streaming platform uh, on Maestro um, which is like a massive platform um, lots of fan uh, communications called like lots of things that you know the fans they they go go to it even when we don't have a show <laughs> so okay it's very cool and it's like a really nice uh, fan experience um, so uh, they took me on, and then from that, I it was really quickly I got I then got a featured in DJ Mac. So I was like, <laughs> oh, that's really I, that's I went, yeah. Uh, so my, my my radio shows now it went it was it started as a monthly radio show, um, and um, uh, after I think the fifth fifth uh, the fifth mix that I made was then uh, the, the dig digitally imported radio, DIFM, um, then took me on as a DJ and. Um, uh, from then it was playlisted on, on there and it's now about uh, to uh, about three to like th for 30 countries three million people and listeners so mm. it's kind of so yeah how, how do really you start cool. a radio show sorry how do you start a radio show then um well so it um well as i made the the the, the mix so the yeah. DJ mix and then i uploaded on, on soundcloud it, it was just that was just the first thing that i did really <laughs> so, you know, on my soundcloud um, and um, uh, from there, um, I got like my PR, my management with the, the rest of the like a, um, I got like a, a big a PR come in um, yeah. and um, uh, they started distributing the radio show, um, which was actually a mix, but this, it had become more of a radio show. And it's now it's like really cool. Like I do a lot of talking in it. <laughs> There's like shout outs to my fans. Like <laughs> every week I go, let's think of more things. Um, but so then they, it starts being syndicated over at uh, different uh, radio stations, um, FM radio stations and internet radio stations. And but it all really started with the DIFM, uh, which is like a massive global, the, the biggest um, electronic, uh, the biggest radio station for electronic music. Okay. Right? Um, they get millions of listeners uh, a, a month. There's yeah, so like a, you go on it and you can listen to uh, different channels, different types of. Um, uh, e uh, uh, electronic music and my one is on one of the biggest one uh, EDM festival channel which you've got the, also the biggest you know, DJs are on that like uh, Afrojack and Ma Martin Garrix and you know, oh, okay. their, their radio show on that so uh, yeah I'm, <laughs> I'm really uh, really lucky really blessed for that to happen so yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that's really cool it sort of like escalated pretty quickly then yeah yeah definitely yeah amazing yeah <laughs> So I saw you were on a Channel 4 programme called The Casting Couch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was that? What, what was that then? Because I don't know what it is. We don't uh, get that in Holland. No, no. It, um, so that was, how did I go? Um, it was, um, they, they approached me um, uh, if I was, at, because they, I think, how was that? I was just, uh, I was just in the making of, um, doing actually doing a remake of this Someone Like Me with Soka. So we got in they were actually Italian uh, producers. So we got in touch with them again and we thought, oh, let's just make, let's make a remake of the Someone Like Me, you know, the big uh, uh, top record that was uh, at the time playlisted on uh, MTV and uh, Kiss FM. And um, we thought, I'll oh, make a different version. So they made that sort of a remix. And then um, a ton of war came in. Um, and then they said, oh, they wanted to um, um, uh, film the, uh, the process of me finding uh, dances for my uh, for my music video. <laughs> okay. So uh, that was uh, that. Um, so that program was called the the, the casting couch. So we kind of they came over one day at uh, the production company of Channel Four, and um, I I did like a, a selection of like lots of uh, dances. I went on you know this uh, website called Star Now. <laughs> so I put out an advert. I'm looking for a dances for my music video and so they filmed the whole day as they were doing additions 
for all the music videos and so I was like a, I jumped I, I was um, um they so they, they they had prepared all the dancers had prepared their own um, dance and uh, I sort of like told them what, in which style it was and um, yeah because so that they they filmed that <laughs> what are you looking at <laughs> no, his bruises in box up the window. Oh. So um, that was so, um, and that uh, so they, they filmed that, and then at the end of the of the day, I um, I chose two dancers that were uh, that were uh, to, to accompany me in the in the music video. So uh, um, yeah, it was <laughs> it was actually quite fun. They had like a dance moves. They lifted me up in the air and did like a like a. Um, I say spinning, spinning you around, yeah, in the, in the air, but yeah. So yeah, that's how um, it went on. Mm. That's, that, 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 that was a TV show. Yeah, was that just so? Was it like a like a series, and then one episode was about you and in yes, exactly. and then they and then they had yeah, other other had, people on yeah, at the end of the day. They had, they had, they had, they had, they had like different uh, uh, casting. It, okay. It was about that, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen that one yeah. before either. Yeah. No, no, I, I've. I don't know. I know. I think doesn't that, ring a bell. So I, I think oh. it's still uh, on the um, on the on the website of Channel Four. When you do, go on the mount, you can still watch it. So can you? Oh, I'll have to check that out after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be good, David. It's fun and the guy that we presented it. Uh, we had like lots of fun. We had, like it had this this move that was called a tissue out of the box. So you <laughs> we were, like, it was quite fun. If you have the time, uh, definitely have a look. It's just, uh, yeah. Like I saw one video you've got, and there's like six dancers on there, but they're all you. Is sorry, say that again. Sorry. I said I've seen one video that you have. There's like six dancers on there, but they're all oh, you. Got it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's got this music video. <laughs> it's um um that one. Yeah, it's, it's the the song is um is about um um a um a lot of goddesses there for um, yeah yeah. So, it's, it's uh, Athena, Inuna, they're all from different parts. It's actually how the, the multicultural, I started bringing the multicultural thing uh, through. That was the, one of the first um, uh, times that I sort of showed it. Um, because we had, um, uh, the, so the song was about, the, the lyrics of the song um, were about different goddesses. So we've got, um, say, um, uh, Lakshmi, uh, which is an Indian goddess, and uh, Athena, because a uh, Greek uh, yeah, Greek one, <laughs> Venus, um, uh, Italian, and um, uh, Inanas is love, old Sumerian. So we had uh, all, uh, uh, so all these uh, goddesses there were in, in the song, and I thought, okay, I think it would be a good idea if I now dress up as all these goddesses, and then we film it. And we're like, my, my video production company was like, oh, well, how are you going to do that? <laughs> so it was like, that was like, a, that was a, it was a really big project, but I, I did it in the end. I did it, and I, I, I um, um, it was because so um, it was it was different parts. So first part was um, we flew over to Spain to um, as uh, was it uh, Cadiz near Cadiz, um, and then we filmed this. There's like a, an opening shot in the video. <laughs> that uh, shows me as a, could like say, an apprentice goddess coming out of the sea, you walking out, and then it's all starts. Uh, like say, it's a world of imagination. And then um, I, you see me dressed up as a goddess Venus. So I have a wig on, you know, a blonde, <laughs> we'll see. And um, so, um, yeah, when you so when you when you watch it, you really get the uh, idea of the the multicultural idea because all the goddesses I try to be um, all in there. Uh, I try to find uh, the styles and the look like uh, ha ha the original, not the original uh, co cultures where they where they come from. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, that was a really great experience. It, it, it took me three uh, three hours to dress up and to do the makeup for each goddess. Okay. <laughs> so the bit where uh, it was. Uh, filmed in front of a green screen, so we did about uh, we did three three goddesses uh, on, on one day. So I, <laughs> it was like one hour of goddess and you know, filming, and then it was three hours getting ready for the next one. <laughs> so it, was like, it was lots of fun. I did, yeah. I don't, I, so yeah. So uh, yeah, have a look at it. it. Doesn't really, it doesn't. You don't see, you don't see the time that was. Uh, some, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Great fun. Great fun. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was reading through the comments because uh, I was obviously watch on YouTube and somebody said that there was a pop at Shakira or something. Oh, <laughs> maybe the uh, Inanna one because uh, she's uh, she's more like the belly dancer. I think um, uh, Sumerian and she's like more like a, 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 a no Eastern kind of a Arabic kind of okay. Sumer Sumerian is a lot, yeah. <laughs> Um, it's like I Ishtar, I don't know if you, <laughs> how your knowledge is on the goddesses. <laughs> I can go on on this one, but sorry. <laughs> Not that great. Yeah, so well, each goddess comes from a part, no, different um, uh, continent, say, of the, yeah, of the yeah, world. Yeah. And she, I think uh, Shakira, she does the belly dancing thing. I no, think right. I, <laughs> I they probably said that, yeah. So that's the, yeah. So, uh, who's the goddess <laughs> of the UK then? Have we got one? Oh, <laughs> Margaret, uh, oh I was going to say Margaret Thatcher then. <laughs> <laughs> totally I'm not thinking straight. <laughs> I think you'll probably be a mixture if you go way, way back, like, because you see, um, 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 I think it'd be like, uh, the way I don't want to say anything wrong. <laughs> but like, uh, <laughs> I think, uh, because, uh, because we have a lot of influences here from, I wouldn't say there is not a Dutch goddess either, like, but we think we've got, I think we'd be in England, be like, maybe like Celtic influences, so like, yeah. There's like a goddess called Dan, Dana, um, Dana, Dana, so that's some, so you think it'll be, um, ginger hair with a beard then, is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it must be a Viking. <laughs> I think probably Kel Celtic would come, like if you look at the Kel Celtic or that's the thing that would be, uh, mm. to, and, and to Dutch as well. Yeah, I think it's been a long time since we had a, <laughs> had a goddess. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they were the green goddess in the 80s. She used to do like an exercise program on the TV. <laughs> remember that, Dave? No, I don't remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think it was in the mornings, I think. Yeah, yeah she was called the green goddess and she used to have like a green oh. spandex suit on. <laughs> and then she would do your exercises, you know. Yeah, but see, like the the word the, the word goddess they started very traditionally, and now like goddess can be like you no know, like someone that I I quite like that the evolution of the goddess you know can be it started like you no know, Athena you know goddess of war deity, deity wasn't it? Oh yeah, goddess in green spandex doing that doing this. Great. I think she was called the green goddess. Anyway. I don't remember that. She might be called the green goblin. I don't know. <laughs> That was more than likely the, answer, the right answer, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I read that you, you play some instruments as well, so I believe you play bass? Oh, yeah. So, do, do yeah, you still actually, play so it In that video, I actually played bass. Um, like, actually, it was Ina now that played the bass, so it was in, in, the, in the video, God, I used to go back to that. Um, there's one chorus where I am. Um, played an instrument as, as, as every goddess and they were actually in a band so, so, mm -hmm. funny. <laughs> um, so yeah I played for that uh, vi a video I played the sitar and I played bass in and out the one play bass and the one played the tabla Diana tabla in Indian drums and uh, Venus uh, played the keyboards and uh, what was it again uh, I, I was a, <laughs> I was a singer okay and uh, Athena played the guitar so so I can you play and can you play all those instruments? Yeah, I played them in the in the video. Yeah, you actually, you actually <laughs> yeah, can play them. As play well. them. <laughs> yeah, I can. I do. Well, you can see a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the. Because I saw in your Rainmaker video, you were playing the saxophone. Yeah, I played the saxophone. So I play, actually, saxophone is I've played that since I was eleven. So. Really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you like blowing stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's really hard as well. No, it's actually you have to like no train your lip when first uh, I was like a kid and then but if you go for a um no a test at the, the, you know, the music the school thing in Gouda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they gave me to, but you have to actually like it's not it's not it's it's pretty hard. You have to like tighten your your underlip and that six like we if if I haven't played it for a while I have to like you know <laughs> training and because you have to like really um you know uh, train your, train your uh, lips. muscle of the your under lip because you have you have to keep it tight on the um how do you call the um the reed three is yeah it's in Dutch it's called reed it's called reed <laughs> yeah. sometimes I get confused with the Dutch name <laughs> yeah. is it a reed instrument and a saxophone yes yeah, yeah it is is it oh yeah. I didn't know yeah it's a woodwind isn't it wives 
as if I'm talking as if I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question because there's actually a trick which it's all like no um, talk about that yet. No, it's uh, yeah. If you oh. have to play with the real score, I hope for the rest. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I didn't know saxophones. I just thought it was um, a bit like a trumpet. You thought it was brass, didn't you? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so it's like an ob oboe is the same as well, no, it's the same, oboes are um, with wind as well. I thought it's here, but I'm not going to play it, because I'm going to... Nice chair. I'm putting a lot of things. Bet for your gaming chair, that is. Yeah, anyway. Oh, yeah. Alto, was it? Is it a tenor or an alto? Alto. Okay, cool. Yeah. I know the difference between that. <laughs> I played it uh, in uh, my uh, in the uh, uh, Rainmaker. I played it uh, at Canberra Sands actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's why. Yeah. So. Um, oh, that's yeah. mad. So, how many how many different musical instruments can you play then? Oh, um, well, I say the ones that I use most for music producing it will be the piano and um, because I, I don't really re record no like I don't I don't really daily record. <laughs> the saxophone in, in my studio. So if it would be like what I normally use uh, to play, it would be the piano and the guitar because you, so when you write songs, you use more the chords, you know. Mm. Um, and, uh, but, um, well, yeah, I can play, I can just, I kind of like, I kind of like to jam, but I can play a little bit of drums. <laughs> yeah. You just, <laughs> you just, not, you just pick up. You're just natural with the. With I, the I, I kind of I like yeah I like to um, learn instruments like, even if it's just just to know wh what it's like not or how you have to play it or something. I don't have much time to learn uh, no instruments unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. But I yeah. like to yeah, no, no. yeah. The only reason I ask is because me and Terry have started learning to play <laughs> guitar and we both really really suck bad. <laughs> really really bad and like mine's because I don't practice enough. <laughs> Terry's an awful lot better than me, but he keeps saying he's not very good. But, um, how, how do you learn it? Um, through, well, I, I've had two lessons, but I, I was learning it through the internet as well. So um, some lessons on, on YouTube and stuff during lockdown. Yeah. So, um, but I've had a couple of lessons, but again, that was virtual because of lockdown. So I've not yeah. had a face-to-face -face lesson yet. Yeah. Um, but that was, I don't know. A couple of couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? <laughs> Probably months ago now, since I've had my last lesson, to be honest. Oh, good. because uh, I, well, from my experience, well, if I can give you a little bit, because when uh, I you can um, on the internet, if you have like a favorite song that you like to play, like from the band you like, no, um, so it, because it's always I mean, when you start learning an instrument, it's like oh, it takes ages before it, it feels like it takes ages before you can actually play what you really want to play. Mm -hmm. Because you probably you start and you wanna because you've got no songs you like, obviously. You know, the thing. So you so what you can do is you can go on the internet and just find the songs that you like. Um, just look for the chords, and then uh, you have like a a chord generator. Okay, so you can also and then you can just see you know where to put your fingers and then you like you know in an easy way if you can play the song that you that you like it makes it a little bit more fun that's that's how i kind of learned it okay oh, really? <laughs> I, I don't really the type that likes to you know listen to a teacher and go, on. Yeah. <laughs> go. <laughs> you have to but um it's more much more fun when you can actually play the songs and you learn probably much more fun that is more no yeah so, so you pick it up and play then you don't tend to like study the chords and understand. Oh, yeah, exactly. Because when you already play the song that you like, and so you can sort of know, do you sing along? <laughs> you like uh, sing along. <laughs> I, I can't, but I, I can't sing and play at the same time. Okay. So, so while I was playing, I was, I was, I picked, I did the same. I picked one of my favorite songs and I was playing along to it. Then I started singing. Yeah. My wife was laughing because I had stopped playing the guitar and I was just singing the song. <laughs> I can't. I don't seem to be able to do both at the same time. <laughs> well, well, it, <laughs> that's funny. But I've got, but yeah, okay. Well, um, well, then, then don't sing. I'll wait, wait a little bit later. We'll see, we'll yeah. See. <laughs> <laughs> you already know the song. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know what's worse, whether my playing or my singing is worse. So I'll have to tell my let my wife decide which one I do. I think. <laughs> yeah, just scrap your guitar, and buy a microphone, Dave. That's right. Yeah, I think I won't be the way. <laughs> well, well, you have to uh, keep me updated on that because I like to see <laughs> you. Uh... 
Oh, I, I, I don't think I'm going to be on a stage anytime soon. I've got to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. It might be David as a DJ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can be in, in, in my show. I'll invite you. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a couple of trips to London then, Dave. Yeah, that's it. One for the where, wedding. Where are you guys based? Yeah, Sorry? I love, I love London. Where, where are you guys based? Um, I'm based in Wales, in South Wales. Okay, okay. So I'm not far from Cardiff. All right. So, but I've, I've been to London a few times. I love London. It's great. So it's, it's normally just a couple of weekends, do you know what I mean? But I, I tend to go there for gigs. Yeah, yeah. I'm laughing at that. <laughs> <laughs> I love London. <laughs> I do. I love it. <laughs> Myrtle, Myr Myr Myrtle Tidville. Do you, how do you say it? Myr Myr oh, Myrtle Myr Myr Tidville. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, when I did this, uh, uh, someone like me at Tour de Soka, so I went to a club in Myrtle Titville. Oh, <laughs> okay. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I performed there. I still remember it. It was like somewhere at the end of a really long train. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah, it was, yeah, fun. <laughs> was, that, was that in a, um, like a more of a pub than a club? Um, it, like, was, it, it was, uh, I think it was a Fisherlia club. <laughs> Where's Club Evil Bar? Club tour, yeah. <laughs> no, that's in, that's in Cardiff, that is. Oh, is it? Oh, I don't yeah. know where it is. It probably was the biggest uh, club pub in, in Myrtle Tip. I, I, um, no, yeah, it was, it was quite big. Mm. Was it downstairs? Um... I think so, yeah, yeah. I think it was uh, it was downstairs and I had to go, it was like a little stage uh, kind of thing. They but it was it was really, really crowded and the uh, and the crowd was like uh, like you know, touching because like, oh, it was like, really close. <laughs> yeah. It was uh, it was yeah, really fun. Like, that's just that's just Wales, that is. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say that all the just normal Welsh people. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we roll. <laughs> well I'm Welsh. I'm from the same place as him, but I live in Holland, so you live in where? In Holland. Holland. In the Netherlands, yeah. You live, oh, you, sorry, I, sorry, I can't say, say that you, I, I heard you live in, in the Netherlands, no. Yeah, I do, yeah. I know. Oh, where? Sorry, we've been talking for like ages and I, he I lives, he, lives, he lives next door to your mum. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we got your number, he, he was chatting to your mum. <laughs> <laughs> Mum would be like, oh, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, serious? Okay. So, see, the interview should be, I should be asking you questions, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> so, where do you live then? Is it near, near, um... Eindhoven. Eindhoven, okay, yeah. So, yes. Yeah, not far from Eindhoven. I'm like 10 minutes away. So, what, what brought you to Eindhoven? An aeroplane and a train. <laughs> 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 that's that's really a story you, you, you haven't got enough time for that. There's another interview. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Then you would be interviewing me. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, well, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So you don't come back? Do you come back very often, or? Um, I used to. Um, I used to a lot, but uh, that I I'm too busy now to come yeah. to go back. But um, obviously. Um, England is on the on the on the blacklist, so we, mm. <laughs> it won't. But um, I'll, I'll try to. Actually, it's my mother's birthday on the um, end of September. Oh, so okay. Happy birthday, uh, uh, Natasha's mum. I've got. I've, 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 but there's also ADE uh, Amsterdam dance event, so um, um, I'll probably try and um, um go over with uh, yeah, probably my manager, uh, my management, my agent is, is busy. Getting some uh, things arranged to probably go to uh, to the Netherlands around that time. Mm. All right, cool. That'd be nice. Yeah. Work with yeah. you, so, yeah. so hopefully. <laughs> yeah. So is it, has your mum been over to the UK to see him? Yes. Yes, she yeah. has. She, goes, okay. yeah, she, <laughs> she has approved everything. <laughs> She's approved it. <laughs> yeah, that's what us parents got to do. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So it's all good. She's been here and now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I've seen. Two weeks ago, then you were at the Boardmasters in Newquay. Yes, I was. Were you performing there as well as watching the, the surfing? Um, no, I wasn't. Uh, not not at the time, um, but um, uh, probably my. Uh, I've been there a few times. So I've just really like. I went for the surfing really. Mm. Um, I um, I I uh, like the surfing, <laughs> the surfing festival. I've been a few times to the uh, the championships. That's, okay. You no, know, like that. Do you surf? Uh, yeah, I, ha 
too. <laughs> there is a video um, of me uh, of uh, last year when I went, it's in, in Natasha's world. Um, I, have, I do a little a vlog thing about, um, um, there's another thing, sorry. I, um, <laughs> is, right. I do like a sort of like a, a, a vlog every now and then. And uh, one of them was about my world last year, summer. I went to um, a few places and um, I did uh, surfing. So and I did this time, but I filmed it then. So it was the first time that I did it. And so you can see me like uh, falling like 10 yeah. times. <laughs> and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there are really big waves uh, in uh, uh, New Key. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah, it was quite, quite, quite exciting. I, I was really dizzy <laughs> afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> I bet, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So have you got on your feet now? Can you stand on the board? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, stand. yeah. I, I, I can stand and move and serve now and, and go forward and I can fall over it. So. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. I've never tried one thing I've never tried, I've got to be honest. No, no. not me. I've never tried surfing, no. Or, or um, ski, what do you call it, water skiing. I haven't tried any of those sort of things, really. Okay, yeah. Yes, well, I think you should try everything. Well, not, me, not everything, but you should try everything a little bit more once. If you have a, no, no. Nurses, no, it's easy. You can well. You just go to Newquay. How far is it from where you are? <laughs> oh, it's about four hours. Yeah. Okay. Not far. But yeah, you can get like um um. As I, first time I had um a, like a day uh, lesson, and you get like a, a private instructor, and he teaches you, you know from the beginning. He like holds your board and everything in the beginning. Yeah. So, so so nothing happens. So it's really yeah, real fun. Yeah, there's there's a lot of surfing in Wales, isn't it? Down um, you call it. Fourth core, we got a um, next door to it is a place called Rest Bay. Oh, okay. tends to be a bit more rocky. Yeah, beach. and um, there's an awful lot of surfers that go down there. Loads of oh, surfing oh, down there. Okay. I've, so I've never, I've watched them, but I've, I've never had a go myself. Oh, okay. Well, I, I should check that out next next time when I'm in Wales. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. It's better than Merthyr Tydfil, I can tell you. <laughs> 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 yeah, that that coastline is beautiful. Yeah, you want to have a look yeah. at that. Yeah, um, you, and then if you go a bit further, then you've got the Gower um, and Rasidi Bay around there. And I, I guess they probably do surf in there as well. It's beautiful, really nice. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I like the English coast. It's like, it's like wherever you go, it's so, so many different. It's like you go one place and then you go another place. It's completely. It's almost like a completely different country. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, uh, to, to film the uh, video from my, the new single, A Lair. I'm, I'm making it now. Editing. We went to different um, uh, beaches as well. And one of them was the um, where they have the smugglers' caves. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was really, really fun. And um, so it was like lots of beaches that I saw. And uh, it is everywhere where you go, it's different, different yeah. kind of different view. And you've got sand, and you've got, you don't really have that in the Netherlands. <laughs> so all yeah. kind of the same. Oh, yeah. right, okay. Was, yeah. that off, was that off Cornwall, was it, with the Smuggler's Caves and stuff? Um, Smuggler's Cave is uh, near, um, uh, what's it called, the, um, um, uh, Broad, Broadway, Broadstairs? Broadstairs, I guess. Broadstairs, okay. Broadway, yeah. okay. Broadway. I remember, I remember Broadway, so I can't yeah. remember the place where I was. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah. Devon and it, Devon, Cornwall way. Devon, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Well, we've got to know you a little bit then, Natasha. Yeah. Yeah. And we know you surf and you um, play the saxophone yeah. and a few other instruments. And you're a DJ, quite successful DJ in a, quite a short time, actually. Yeah. 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 Which is really good. You must be very proud. Yeah. I'm surprised more. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so, That's you, great. I mean, it's a good the, achievement in lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are you going to look to play? You know, do DJ sets in I don't know, like I'd be there and places like yeah, that. Well, actually, this it, 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 well, funny enough, it's now it's, it's come as my uh, my agent, my management. Uh, they're they're working on that at that now, and it's probably a big chance when everything opens up again. Obviously, mm -hmm. that um, I will definitely be uh, entertaining some people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Great, I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you put me in your suitcase. <laughs> Right. All right, cool. I usually, at the end of the show, I usually do a story of something in the news, okay. but I thought I would do something a little bit different today, since you're a pop, electronic music pop yeah. icon, if you like. Okay. Um, have you heard ABBA release a new single? Yes. What do you think of it? 
<laughs> no, I, I actually, uh, I, I like ABBA, so... Um, um, yeah, you like old ABBA, but what do you think about <laughs> new ABBA? Um... <laughs> I think uh, I, I think I think it's it's good because we like a, a lot of um, no a lot of generation we don't we don't um, say uh, um, I, th I think it's a, you see that a lot nowadays um, mixing the um, the the music from now with uh, with previous songs and uh, there is a lot of um, like covers going on especially in EDM. There's like lots of covers of songs, you know, that were you no know, before born or <laughs> you no, know, when we were all you no know, a child, and um, yeah, I think I think it's cool. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I listened to both the songs. I mean, the one is a bit of a ballad. Yeah. I guess what's it called? Uh, I did write it down. I still have faith in you. Yeah, that's more of a ballad type song. Yeah. And and then the other one is more uh, upbeat ABBA esque, if you like. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's very much have a sound. I mean, the I mean they haven't made a, an album for like forty years, I think, or something. Yeah. So yeah, they've still kept the sound. But it seems, I mean, lyr lyrically, it's very. I think they're trying to send a bit of a poignant message. Where, um, like at the end of their career, I mean, they were still quite young, I suppose. I mean, they were probably in the early forties, maybe. Yeah. And. They, I think they were so famous they probably couldn't take it anymore. They couldn't take the fame and the, they could take the fortune, but they couldn't take the fame, you know. Mm. And then the, they sort of like fell apart because they, they, I think they were all in relationships with each other as well. Okay. And they all like split up and got divorced, and there was a lot of. I think there was a lot of. Um, I, I think hate is a bit, a bit of a strong word, but a lot of dislike for each other. I think. And now, if you listen to the lyrics of these new two songs. They are very um, come back together type lyrics, you know. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, it's a nice message. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's a nice message, but it's just typically ABBA. I mean, it's it's old, it's old ABBA with wrinkles. Yeah. Oh, uh, That's what it is. <laughs> well, I think I would like to. Well, I think um, no, it's, it's it's probably because they are coming back together, and probably a lot of say a young people they. They haven't had it now. Um, they don't know this and when when uh, when when the songs were were famous and the old ABBA. But uh, yeah, I, I I think it's cool. You know why not? <laughs> yeah, I mean the old songs were famous in what the seventies, late seventies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't think they made it into the eighties, did they? Maybe like, one or two songs, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean they've kept the brand alive, haven't they? With Mamma Mia and they've done some other ABBA musical stuff. Yeah. So they've done well there, but they're obviously running out of money because of streaming services. Yeah. Do you know what? I reckon that Mamma Mia is probably the worst musical film that's ever been released. I've never seen it. I mean, it is no. terrible. And then they released the second one. Did they? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of ABBA. I can't, I can't find you. Mamma Mia 2. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know they made another one. I yeah, they've done, they they've done two of them, they? I don't know, Natasha. Do you know? There's two. There's two Mamma Mia films, isn't there? Yeah. Um, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and they the people they get to sing the songs they they're terrible. <laughs> it's awful. It's really. Yeah, impressive. they should have stuck to the original members, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Definitely got got James, James Bond to sing a song on it. I think that's where they went wrong. But, um, no, I, I'm 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 not a fan, but it. Like you said, it's it's a sort of music. It's a bit like the Beatles. If if you hear a track, you know instantly who sung it, don't you? Do you know what I mean? And, and ABBA is the same, isn't they? So their their music is um, very distinct, and you and you know the songs immediately as soon as it comes off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, I actually switch the radio to... over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah They're in, in your car. I do appreciate it when the artists come back from a long time and then they can, because music changes all, all the time. It's still, but um, um, I do li like when, because it becomes more, say, more electronic, more um, like uh, the music that you hear now on the on the TV and on MTV, it's all sort of changed a bit. Now you've got artists as well that come back from a long time and then they um, uh, try to, you know, make the music that's in now and with them, but is a combination, there's a mixture of what they used to 
you know making yeah, and, yeah. Uh, as a conversation what what now is people now listening to and i yeah i do appreciate that yeah yeah do you well, think well, i would have done that um though they might probably still <laughs> Oh, well, anyway, uh, what I was what I was going to say they was <laughs> they probably because everybody knows their sound. So if they would change it now, we wouldn't recognize, like you said, um, that it's a very very recognizable sound. And so it's this possible that they you know come yeah, out yeah. you know, to continue. Probably, they probably have to. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but well, they might they might do. <laughs> well, they're putting a show together where they're going to go on tour, but it's actually going to be holograms. Yeah. Have you oh, seen that? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's, I mean, it's top secret, apparently. But everybody knows about it. Oh, the Facebook. And everybody's seen the clips <laughs> that they're making, but apparently it's top secret. Okay. Yeah. That is the future, in the end. <laughs> and it's being made by a Spielberg company, maybe? Oh, is it? It's okay. one of the top studios, oh, anyway, is actually put it then. together. Yeah. yeah, that would be good. So, uh, they'll, yeah. So... They'll, they'll smash it anyway. So they're, they're going to be playing sold out shows. All this stuff's going to have millions of hits because people are living longer and all their original fans are still alive. So, yeah. do you know what I mean? <laughs> and not all of them. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm in a bad mood, isn't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to say about that. So it's, all, um, it's, all, it's all good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so. Well, I, I would, I would love to have some Welsh Herbert on a podcast complain about me be releasing rubbish music when I've been doing it for seventy years and making millions of pounds. So, if I was in that position, <laughs> I'd be really, really happy. I've got to be honest. <laughs> so fair play to them. <laughs> and I hope they get married again. God bless them. <laughs> well, I think that's the that's the thing. I, if you listen to the words, then. Uh... You think they're back on it, do you? Yeah, I think they're on the nest. Ah, okay, that's nice. So uh, maybe that's when they gotta they gotta do the um, digitized version. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're getting on a bit now. <laughs> they're gonna get worn out. <laughs> but have you got any new music coming out then, Natasha? Um, so I just released uh, uh, my a latest single there. Um, which is, uh, I'm still in the uh, the music video is still coming coming out. Um. And um, at the moment, I'm working on uh, my uh, uh, artist album, um, which should be in a few months. So the um, second sort of an acoustic album um, with new uh, songs. Um, and um, at the same time, I'm doing uh, featuring, so I'm working with other artists as well. Um, so yeah, quite, quite, quite busy. Um, yeah. The music from, and of course, the radio shows. And um, I've got a birthday show as well coming up. Yeah, I see now. <laughs> Whose birthday is it? Saturday, that is, is it? <laughs> oh, yours. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. So you're 21, is it? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Not far. Same age, same age as Terry. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Look at me, I'm going fucking grey. I'm, I'm even my skin is going grey now. <laughs> <laughs> Turning into the undead. <laughs> if, you, if you need to do a zombie video, we can volunteer because we're old and crumbly already. You wouldn't need to give us any makeup. We'll be in makeup for about three minutes. I might because I see all your beard because I've got these things that I'm, I'm really like, every time when I look at your beard, I want to do some flats in it. <laughs> yeah, I've got to get rid of this lot. <laughs> you piss me off. <laughs> you can stand next to me in the video. I think you need to, yeah, plait it. I think that would be cool. Yeah, well, right. I, I used to plait it before because it used to be longer. It used to be this, like this long. Oh, wow. And uh, yeah, and my girlfriend used to plait it all the time. <laughs> That's cool. And she used to put like these little uh, metal things in there. Yeah. Like yeah, sweet Viking things. Yeah. So is that like a, oh, yeah, that's one you put, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, um, you should plait the um, no, some gold. Uh, oh, look at that! Is that real gold? <laughs> yes. You like Miss, <laughs> like, like Mrs. T. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's real. It's real gold string. So. You walk around. Well, well. All right, then, mate. I will right, we'll let you go then.
Yeah. It's been right. lovely talking to you. Right, yeah. It's so fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you haven't stopped laughing yet, so. <laughs> Good. It means we've done something right. Yeah, definitely. All right, cool. Good. Well, tell us your socials. Sorry? I said tell us your socials. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, my socials are, uh, so everything is at Natasha Divine. So I, I will spell the Natasha N A T H A double S I A. Yeah. <laughs> and Divine uh, D E V I uh, N E. That are my that are my socials. And there's also at Goddess is a DJ. If it's too hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll share it all for you anyway. It's no problem. Yeah. So yeah, but it always uh, loves to connect with everyone and um if you leave me a comment if you listen to the show i will drop you a shout out also in my radio show cool yeah okay cool i will drop you a shout out too lovely thank you all right lovely thank yeah. you yeah yeah we'll drop you a shout out on our show yes okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> okay awesome. all right lovely thanks all right it's great to speak to you yeah and uh, we'll speak to you again soon yeah. yeah, don't tell her. Make sure you come back and tell us when you've got some new music. Oh, yeah, I will. Yeah? yeah. All right, cool. Thank you, mate. All right, take care. All Bye. right, see you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>